Hey guys, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you eight awesome ways you can take screenshots on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And as always, the link to the wallpaper that I'm using is in the video's description. And guys, I've got plenty of video tutorials on Samsung Galaxy devices, so make sure to check them out once you are done with this video. Alright, so one of the best and the most convenient way of taking a screenshot on a Samsung phone is by swiping your palm over the screen like this. And as you can see, that takes a screenshot. By the way, you actually have to touch the screen and swipe and then it will take a screenshot. You can actually swipe both ways, from right to left or from left to right. That will take a screenshot. And it also opens up a little toolbar at the bottom of the screen that will let you edit the screenshot before you save it to the phone. Now, if palm swipe to capture does not work on your Samsung phone, it's most likely disabled. So to enable it, drop down the notification panel, go to settings, scroll down to advanced features, then tap on motion and gestures and make sure palm swipe to capture is enabled. So this is the feature that lets you take a screenshot by swiping your palm over the screen like this. Very useful. One more way you can take a screenshot is by using the Smart Select Edge Panel. Now this is particularly very useful because it will actually let you select which part of the screen you want to save. So for example, you have found something very interesting on Instagram and you want to send this screenshot over. So open up the Smart Select Edge Panel, tap on the rectangle option and select the part of the screen you want to save. Then tap on Done. And the phone will take a screenshot of that particular area. Now, one of the biggest advantages of taking a screenshot using the Smart Select Edge Panel is that you can actually extract text out of images. This image contains some text and you can tap on the T button and that will extract all of the text out of the screenshot. So that is very useful. You can copy this and share it with your friends. By the way, shout out to Skill of Manifestation. This page is awesome. Make sure to follow them. All right, so let's get back to the video. Now, the Smart Select Edge Panel comes pre-installed on almost every Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Even the older ones, such as the Note 9, have this feature. So this one also has the Smart Select Edge Panel. All you have to do is enable this from the settings. So drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display, scroll down to Edge Panels, tap here, then tap on Panels and make sure Smart Select is enabled from the Panels list. There's also another edge panel that will let you take screenshots and that is the tasks edge panel. So enable this from over here and let's go back to our home screen. And if I open up the edge panel and open up the tasks edge panel, there's an option here which says take screenshots. This is actually quite convenient. So if you are holding the phone like this, you can open this and take a screenshot. And if you want, you can actually move these buttons around. So long press and you can just drag and drop these wherever you want. So that is also another way of taking screenshots on a Samsung phone. Now guys, if you have a Galaxy Note series or the Galaxy S22, you can use the included S Pen to take screenshots. Let me show you how. So the easiest way of taking a screenshot using the S Pen is by pressing the button and just scribbling the S Pen like this. And that takes a screenshot. And right away after taking a screenshot, you can annotate on the screenshot and then save it if you like. This feature is called Anywhere Actions and this uses the Bluetooth and the accelerometer functionality of the S Pen to take screenshots. So just press and hold the button, scribble the S Pen and that takes a screenshot. Now, if you are not able to take screenshots using the Anywhere Actions, tap on the Air Command button, then tap on Settings, then tap on Air Actions, now, under Anywhere Actions, make sure that you have this gesture set to screen right. So press and hold the button on the S Pen, scribble and that will take a screenshot. Super convenient, right? Now, what if you have an older generation Samsung smartphone such as the Galaxy Note 9 which does not support these fancy new gestures? Well, there are two more ways you can take screenshots using the S Pen. Okay, so whenever you take the S Pen out, this menu, which is known as the Air Command menu, will automatically pop up. If this does not show up automatically, tap on this little pen button and that will open up the Air Command menu. So over here, you have two ways to take screenshots, Smart Select and Screen Write. Screen Write will take a screenshot of the screen and will let you write on the screen just like this. 
The second option in the Air Command menu is Smart Select and just like the Smart Select in the Edge panel, you will have to highlight the area of the screen which you want to take screenshot of. And once again, this will also let you extract the text out of the image. Another option that I really like is that you can actually pin the screenshot to the screen. So as you can see, that pins the screenshot to our screen and it will always be there on top. And if you want, you can save it to the phone or discard using the cross icon. So that's how you take screenshots using the S Pen. Modern Samsung Galaxy smartphones such as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the S21 series are capable of recording high resolution videos in 4K as well as 8K. Now videos that are in 8K and 4K are pretty high resolution videos such as this one is a 4K video 3840 into 2160. What I've seen people do is actually taking screenshots of videos like this and then manually cropping like this and then saving it to the phone. And if you take a screenshot of a higher resolution video like this, the phone will not be able to capture the full higher resolution. So you can see the screenshot is 1078 into 643. This was actually a 4K video. And if I zoom in, you can see it's all pixelated. So don't just manually take a screenshot like this. The proper way of extracting a full resolution screenshot out of a video is by pressing this button when you are in the video player. So this will extract a full resolution still image out of the video. So as you can see, it is 3840 into 2160. And if I zoom in, there is absolutely no pixelation. The picture is nice and clear. Now, if you've got an older Galaxy smartphone such as the Note 9, things are going to be a little bit different, but it's more or less the same. So open up the video and tap on play video, get to the part of the video where you want to take a screenshot off, pause the video and press on this button. So that will take a full resolution screenshot of the video. And lastly, Samsung phones also come with a built in screen recorder. So drop down the notification panel and tap on screen recorder. Select your sound settings and you are good to go. Now this built-in screen recorder also does not trigger the screenshot or the video record message on Snapchat. So those of you who use Snapchat will already know that if you screenshot a snap, Snapchat kind of sends a notification. So if I screenshot this, a notification will pop up over here that the other person has taken a screenshot. Now if you use the screen recorder, there will be no screenshot notification. So what I'm going to do is send another snap onto this phone and also send a quick video. Now what I'm going to do is drop down the notification panel, tap on screen recorder, select media sounds and start recording. And you will see I will be able to open the snap while the screen recorder is recording and there is no screenshot notification over here. I'm also able to play the video snap that stopped and as you can see there is no screenshot notification over here. So kind of sneaky and shady right? And all of your recordings are in a folder which says screen recordings and you can play these back and extract the still snap out of the screen recording and that will be saved in a folder which says video capture. Here it is. So this is a secret way of taking snapshots on Snapchat without the other person knowing. Please don't do this, respect the other person's privacy. And finally, the most common way of taking a screenshot is by pressing the volume down key and the power key together and that will take a screenshot. But I think many of you guys know how this works. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video and if you have found this video to be helpful, make sure that you press the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty of videos on Samsung devices, so make sure to check these videos out including the 15 legit hidden features that you did not know of. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys in the next video.